And even going back to the question of like, you know, why buy Redwire when you think Rocket Lab will do well? It's also a timing thing. Like sometimes you think Rocket Lab looks expensive compared to other times where it looks cheaper and maybe Redwire looks cheaper at a time when Rocket Lab looks expensive and people leave in both companies. So, and just diversification is, uh, you know, important to make sure you don't put all your eggs in one basket and some goes bad. I have a quick question for you as well. Um, me and Chris are actually talking about this prior to the stream because Chris, as you guys know, is big into the defensive side. He actually got us quite interested in the defensive side of the company and everything. But my biggest regret over the last while has been not getting into Palantir. I remember me and my other hustle brother Reese talking about uh, Palantir back. It was around $7 at the time. We're always bouncing around if it falls back and it never did it surge forward and look away she went never got in do you ever get into palantir very briefly and i got out way too soon clearly but yeah for unfortunately i mostly missed that train i got i had maybe a double off of a small number of shares but uh you know guys guys like matt and vince made <laughs> made way more off of palantir so clearly i wasn't excited enough or knowledgeable enough about that one it's hard you know you can't be an expert on everything are you still in nvidia i remember you buying nvidia at the time and at the time it was like the all-time high and this was like pre split are you still in nvidia uh yeah yeah i still have nvidia shares 